Saira, I want to begin by asking you, on day 26, the Kerala story has earned more than 230 crore rupees worldwide. It's earned close to 270 crore rupees. Why is Nasiruddin Shah so upset with the success of the Kerala story? Okay, so firstly, good evening, Gaurav. So I'm glad that Mr. Nasiruddin Shah's opinion and voice matters even today. And that's the reason we are having this debate. Uh, and no one can deny the fact that in Nazi Germany, propaganda films were made, newsreels were made. Joseph Goebbels played a huge role in, in promoting propaganda. And also he helped to demonize, criminalize, and uh, what do you call, uh, de dehumanize uh, vulnerable groups, especially the Jews in, in those days. And now it's the same thing that is happening because there's certain films that are made with a political agenda that looks to dehumanize, criminalize, and also uh, what you call discredit certain vulnerable groups, which, which are the minorities of, of the country. So I'm totally with which uh, Mr. Nasiru which, which minorities? Minorities, the largest minority, uh, you know, mainly the Muslims, of course. The, the Sikhs are being uh, dehumanized during uh, the farm laws. Uh, sometimes Christians are de 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 demonized because of, uh, you know, what you call their forward thinking, the schools. We have seen churches being desecrated. We have seen churches being vandalized. So definitely the minorities uh, are, feel that they are under siege. And I think he was simply expressing an opinion. He's okay. well within his right to express an opinion. If an interviewer is asking him basic questions, let me bring in Shubhrasta into this conversation. He's simply Nasiruddin Shah. His point no, of hold view. on. Let, let's, let's move step by step. <laughs> Nasiruddin Shah is very upset that films like Afwa, Bhir and Faraz flopped. That may be understandable, he may be upset. But Shubhrasta, can you understand why is he so upset with the box office success of the Kerala story? Uh, Gaurav, incidentally I watched Bhir just yesterday on uh, Netflix. And let me tell you, it's a very shoddily done movie. It's an amazing subject. It could have been de dealt with so, so beautifully. Okay, but, but today the, the debate is the Kerala story and you know, we will restrict ourselves on it, please. Right, right. The reason, uh, the reason why I wanted to bring Abhir uh, into question is you are not going to get audience to applaud your film if you are not based on reality. If you claim that you are trying to document something, but you have completely moved away from that basic agenda of depicting truth, people are not going to buy the argument. Now, why does Kerala's story succeed? Or why do, do Kashmir, does a Kashmir file succeed in this country? For the simple reason that they don't claim to be the hallmark of truth alone. They say that it's a film. They say that it, they, they, they are based on real incidents. They quote real incidents and then of course there is the artistic freedom for any person to treat the subject that they want to. I don't understand the pain point of uh, Nasiruddin Shah. It's a very puerile argument to make, Gaurav. For all these years, we have been hearing the same thing right from college campuses till, you know, television debates. There is a certain ideology, there is a certain kind of people, there, are, there, there is a certain kind of lobby which tries to push the same bloody argument every time. Here is Saira Shalim saying that, where vulnerable group is being targeted in Kerala story. Who is a vulnerable group? ISIS. Okay. Christian minorities, she says, are being targeted. I haven't seen any Christian minority up in arms like... The churches uh, are not being like vandalized. The churches okay. are not no, being but, vandalized. Uh, hold on. Uh, today I'm going to stay on the issue of the Kerala story and Nasiruddin Shah's statement about the Kerala story and sure. Saira Shah Halim going to the extent of comparing India to Nazi Germany. Saira, are we okay. not a vibrant democracy You've seen elections. Elections are fought hard, won and lost. Why does Arupam, why, why does Nasiruddin Shah believe we are going the Nazi Germany way? And who's the supreme so, leader in democracy? So fine. If if the filmmaker feels that he has a certain perspective towards the film, so does Mr. Nasiruddin Shah have a right to air his views. So why are we demonizing him? No, he why are we demonizing our country by calling India Nazi are, Germany? No, 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 no. One second, one second. You are writing of a movie. Doesn't mean you're demonizing the country. He has a certain perspective of the film. Doesn't mean he's running the when did Kerala story become India? I want to understand that. What is when becoming Nazi the Germany? Who is becoming Nazi India? Germany? When does when does a movie depict the reality of of the entire country? I want to ask that. Does 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 the Kerala story depict what India is all about? Okay, Shubhrasta. Shubhrasta, do you want to respond? Does Kerala story depict any? Reality? Sent to join ISIS? Oh, 
I want to, I want, ma'am, I want to throw an open challenge to you. Please tell me, any person, rational person, who has said that the Kerala story is akin to the India story. It's one of the stories that India is grappling with. And it's I think not, it's a fictional, it's a fictional amount. The filmmakers had to send out, had to, had but to basically not take not back the world like, on the numbers. Here you're talking about 32,000 number girls were abducted. Clearly not. Here we are talking but about two, three, two, three, even if one girl is abducted, even if one girl is abducted, even if one girl is forcibly converted and sent out, witches, is that acceptable to Saira Shah? Exactly, exaggeration is figment, figment of the story. Okay, one by one. Shubhrasta wants to respond. It is a fictional account. It's a fictional account, and the filmmakers should, should issue. A cautionary uh, comment let's saying that it's a fictional amount. Then we okay. okay. If we, if we wants to respond. Amount, one we have by one. Ma'am, you've made your point. Shubhrasta, please respond. One of the problem is that these people have feet of clay, which is why they just don't allow the other side to make a point. I never intervene when Saira is speaking. There are two, three points which I want to make very clear. I don't think the filmmakers have ever said that they are documenting it in the form of a documentary. It's a film based on real incidents. They have a problem with the numbers. They can go ahead and make another another story called the alternative Kerala story. For God's sake, we can. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we are going to uh, watch that film too and have a discussion on that as well. She said and falsely that Nasiruddin Shah is being demonized. No, ma'am. Nasiruddin Shah is being called out for his hypocrisy. Nasiruddin Shah is being called out for the false congruence that he's trying to make. If you were in Nazi Germany, madam, you would not be speaking on national television like this. You would be inside a concentration camp. Thank God that we Saira. are a vibrant democracy. Thank God we are a democracy where you and I can sit on a national television and I can and I can challenge you on various facts. You say that this story is fictional. Are you trying to deny any woman the right and all, all of these victims have come out in the open now on various television channels, including India today? Are you trying to say that the victims or the survivors rather are all have all false narratives? And only what Saira Shah Aleem says is correct. What okay. world are we living in? Why do you want to deny the agency to people who have really suffered? These girls... Saira Shah these... wants to respond. Saira Shah Halim wants to respond. There was a film that was made during Nazi Germany, Triumph of the Will, that completely showcased, uh, showcased Hitler as a hero. They completely glorified what he did. And I can see one thing, that films have been used to change public opinion.